Hi guys, uh, this is Dr. G and uh, today in this video we are going to talk about the final rule for oxidation numbers which is rule number 10 and please note that I have uh, posted two other videos for oxidation reduction reactions and oxidation numbers so I, I highly recommend that you guys watch those videos uh, uh, before watching this one okay and this will be the third and final video of the three video series for oxidation numbers and in this uh, uh, video we are going to talk about the final rule which is rule number 10 okay so if we take a look at rule number 10 it is very similar to rule number 9 which we discussed in detail in in the second video and uh, the only difference between rule number 9 and rule number 10 is that in rule number 9 we talked about neutral compounds and then uh, in rule number 10, we are going to talk about charged compounds or you can say polyatomic ions. Okay, so rule number 10 is actually for uh, polyatomic ions. So according to rule number 10, the sum of oxidation numbers in a polyatomic ion is equal to the charge on the ion. Okay, so basically the sum of oxidation numbers of a uh, ionic compound is going to be equal to the charge, to the charge. So let's take a small notepad and then try to understand this. Okay, so the example that you have in rule number 10 is sulfate ion. Okay, sulfate ion. So with SO42 minus, this is the sulfate ion. Okay, so, <clears throat> so we have to calculate the oxidation number of sulfur. We have to calculate the oxidation number of sulfur. Okay, this is what we need to do. And we already know the that, that sulfate ion has one sulfur atom and four oxygen atoms. So the sum of oxidation number of the sulfur atom and the four oxygen atoms is equal to minus two. Why? Because that is the charge that you have for the sulfate ion. Okay, so this minus two comes from the charge. Okay, all right. So uh, let's figure it out. For sulfur, you don't know the oxidation number, so let's call it X. That is our unknown, so let's call it X. And for oxygen, you know the oxidation number, which is usually minus 2, okay, which is usually minus 2. And the sum of oxidation numbers should be equal to minus 2, okay. So 4 times minus 2 is minus 8. When you take minus 8 to the other side, it becomes plus 8. So plus 8 plus minus 2, which is... Uh, the charge is going to be plus 6. What is plus 6? That is the oxidation number of sulfur. So the oxidation number of sulfur is plus 6. All right. So let's do a couple more examples and then see if we could uh, uh, practice some more. Okay. So practicing makes you perfect. So you might want to do them as much as you can so that, you know, in the end, the objective here is to get the oxidation number in your head within like a fraction of a second okay if you have to write all these equations to calculate the oxidation number probably you are not going to do well in the exam okay so that is very important to know so you have to practice as much as you can so let's try a few more polyatomic ions let's try so 3 2 minus okay so 3 2 minus and we have to calculate the oxidation number of s sulfur okay so the three ox i mean you have three oxygens and one sulfur the sum should be minus two just like before so let's call the oxidation number of sulfur x and you have three oxygens which means three times minus two because each oxygen is a minus two and it should be equal to minus two three times two is minus six you take it to the other side and it will become uh, plus 6 okay so plus 6 minus 2 is plus 4 so the oxidation number of sulfur is actually a plus 4 all right awesome so let's try a few more but now I'm not going to use the equation I'm going to do it in short okay I'm going to do it in short so let's try uh, let's say in no uh, 3 minus and NO2 minus. Very similar atoms. Okay, very similar atoms. And I want you to calculate the oxidation number of nitrogen. 
how do you do this how do you do this all right let's try it so you have three oxygens which means for from oxygen i mean each oxygen is of course a minus two but you have three oxygens that is a minus six but you have minus one in excess right so nitrogen has only balanced uh, one less so it should be what it should be plus five there we go plus five so in here you know oxygen is a minus two and you have two oxygens so it should be minus four from the two but you have one minus charge in extra so nitrogen should be plus three plus three do we get it all right let's try a few more examples let's try a few more examples we want to do them as fast as we can okay uh let's try uh let's try a few let me write down a few All right, let's try these uh, six compounds and uh, I'm going to point to the atom uh, which you need to calculate the oxidation number for, okay? All right, so pause the video now and then see if you could figure it out, okay? Pause the video now and see if you could figure it out. All right, for carbon, okay, you have three oxygens. Each oxygen is a minus two, okay? so. That is minus six, but you have two minus in extra, so this should be plus four. Okay, so in here, phosphorus should be, I mean, four oxygens is minus eight, so you have a minus three charge, so phosphorus has only balanced five of them. Okay, so you have three oxygens, that is minus six, so you have one minus in extra, so phosphorus should be again plus five. Plus five. So in here you have three oxygens that is minus six, okay, and you have one hydrogen which is a plus one. Hydrogen is plus one, okay. Uh, so you have one negative charge in excess, so carbon should be plus four. How come, right? So plus four and plus one is plus five, and plus six is from oxygen, so you have one negative charge in excess. One negative negative charge in excess that is how you do it okay that is how you do it let me erase all these unnecessary things similarly this phosphate again uh, with two hydrogens will again be plus five you might want to notice the similarity okay even though you have two hydrogens these hydrogens are basically taking out negative charges these hydrogens are basically taking out negative charges okay so this sulfur is plus six all right now we're cooking so i hope this is clear um, let me give you a few more examples to try at home okay and then uh, i will write the answers but i will not explain it this time okay i will net not explain it this time so let's do this
all right so these are the things that i want you to try in this video so pause the video and try them if you haven't done them yet and in a second i will write the answers okay in a second i will write the answers Oh, sorry. all right guys that does it so i hope that you guys are comfortable with, comfortable with all uh, 10 of the oxidation number rules now okay uh, if you have uh, practiced enough uh, by now by by now you should be able to do these uh, oxidation number calculations in your head okay with that with, with that i'm going to uh, stop the video you guys have a good one okay take care